had people doing like hair and makeup, so it was easy to transform into a a gray haired businessman type. Yeah. <clears throat> you definitely look like of the people in the room, like the junior partner of the law firm. You're yeah. like the up and comer compared to some of the other yeah, some of the like, other people. Um most of the guys there are probably over sixty really. So or you know, definitely over fifty that kind yeah. of look the part where I just somehow was able to do it too. <laughs> it's like they needed an extra person or something. And so what was the, when you went, it was done in Kansas City. Yeah. When you went down there, um, did you go like right to this corporate high rise? What was the, what was the yeah, set like? I, um, I, I don't remember the name of the building. It was like a big law firm just showed up to this huge building and it was arranged to be in these certain like business meeting rooms or whatever, like mm-hmm. conference like, rooms. Yeah, board looking rooms with yeah, a big table. With that... huge windows that overlook the whole city and everything. So it was just an interesting stage set up for this video that yeah. I really had no idea what was going on. Hopefully when people see this, like it'll be kind of the video will be like cut in with this or people can just go check it out themselves and check out the boardroom scene. But what ultimately happens is uh Mike Cadreas or Perfume Genius ends up basically wreaking havoc on this boardroom table, Mm -hmm. um, using it like a fashion runway for a couple minutes. The corporate-looking people are eating jumbo shrimp, which is a nice touch. Um, And he kind of starts throwing their shrimp around and stuff. Can you take me through, like, what the actual shooting was like? To me, it was kind of like boy in high heels looking severe and you know looking <laughs> fierce or whatever yeah. so maybe to those other guys it was shocking or it wasn't shocking or weird to me but these guys were also sort of normal people like dads you know yeah. grandparents or even what do you think about the irony of the fact that you've spent years um as black Blake doing this project that um really has done uh, a great job and you've gone to great lengths to kind of be subversive and uh, undercut heteronormative things, and um, uh, and then you kind of get to play like the weird opposite of what you normally do. Like you were sort of maybe playing the guy who like walks into a Black Blake show and is just like, "What is this?" And then like, yeah, yeah I mean, I think there's got to be some like reality and kind of like fantasy in being kind of like a performance artist in some mm-hmm. sense. Like, you have to, you can't always be that character. Some people try to always be that character, which I don't really want to be. I like to have, like, some sure. distance from being, like, a total weirdo, you know? Or, like, <laughs> sure. or even a monster in some people's eyes. So, like, this kind of, like, being in this video is almost the same kind of performance in a way. I mean, you still get a little bit nervous or you still kind of don't know what you're doing and there is some element of surprise to it. Um so it's not really that different to me from it's still playing a character in some sort of in, in some sense. So like me as myself being Plaque Blake in some ways is kind of like a character that I've given my persona or mm-hmm. like a, my a character that I've given myself to you know do these sort of things or be like even a bigger personality than maybe I would give in my normal life. Yeah. Which some people say I'm a shy person or some people say I'm a quiet person, which I don't really think that sometimes, but like I, I can see how people would think that. Mm-hmm. And um, I think playing this role in this video is just kind of a funny way of being like, oh, it's him playing the like normal straight role of, you know, the businessman kind of guy. Yeah. To me, I think, Looking like that in reality is kind of funny in that <laughs> sense, too. So mm-hmm. it's almost just like making fun of that in in itself, but also just kind of like enjoying the fact that I'm being in this video and that's just the role I was given.